What's up travelers, SJ Aviation HQ here, welcome back to, to another video. Uh, in today's video we're going to be looking at the Saudi Arabian Airlines 787-9 uh, Dreamliner by uh, NG Models. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel, smash that like button below. If, you, if you're new here again, uh, click, click, click this here subscribe button below if you, uh, if you enjoy these sorts of videos. Dim that bell icon next to it so, so you don't miss out on any future videos. Got some, I've got a good lineup coming up for you, for you guys. Uh, so you, you won't want to miss out on those. Um, and yeah. Um, so before we get, get into looking at the box, I'm going to be reading you out some information regarding the, the airline itself. Uh, which of course is Saudi, Saudi Airlines. And then some information regarding the aircraft. So, founded on uh, or during September 1990, 1946, uh, Saudi Arabian Airlines is the uh, flag carrier of Saudi Arabia. Um, and started and started operations in uh, March of 1947, headquartered in uh, Jeddah in South Saudi Arabia. Uh, Saudi Arabian Airlines is the third largest Middle Eastern carrier in terms of revenue behind Emirates and Qatar Airways, and has an, and has a fleet size of 159 aircraft, including 13 787-9s. Um, with an additional one seven eight seven dash ten due to be delivered, uh, Saudi Arabian Airlines also has a number of seven eight seven dash tens, which of course is the longest variant of the dash uh, of the seven eight seven family. Uh, Saudi Arabian Airlines has an average fleet age of six point six years, and operates to one hundred and thirty two destinations worldwide. And has uh, and Saudi Arabian Airlines is a, is a member of the Sky Team Alliance. Uh, so going into some some details regarding the aircraft itself, the MSC number of this aircraft is four four four. My bad, it's four zero zero four nine. Um, the line number of this aircraft is six eight three, which means this aircraft was the six hundred and ninety third Dreamliner to be. Uh, right off the production line at Boeing, uh, the aircraft is a Boeing seven eight seven nine Dreamliner. The second, the the the, the more for me, the more pro proportionate uh, variant of the Dreamliner. It's in the, it's in the middle of the dash eight and the dash nine. Of course, the dash uh, eight is the shortest. Dash ten is the longest, and the dash nine is uh, in the middle. Uh, the aircraft is uh, two point nine years old as of today, which is the fourteenth of March, twenty twenty one. The registration of the aircraft is Hotel Zulu Dash Alpha Romeo uh, two three. This aircraft was built and produced in Charleston uh, Airport, um, that is Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, two of the main, uh, one of the two main uh, plants in the United States of America that uh, Boeing uses to. Uh, build their aircraft. I believe Charleston is is more predominant with the Dreamliners. I'm pretty sure. I do know in recent times that Boeing had um, recently announced that uh, their uh, Charleston plant would would be the home of the Dreamliner, um, and they would no longer be built in um, Everett. Um, and of course, Everett is is uh, Everett Painfield is, is the is the main is the home uh, air, um, uh, factory for the white bodies. Boeing still uh, Boeing of course uh, has uh, Boeing Field in Seattle, and also they have Renton for the seven three sevens. But yeah, uh, this aircraft was uh, produced in Charleston. Uh, and this this aircraft is currently part due to the current um, global effects with the pandemic going around. This aircraft was delivered to Saudi Arabian Airlines during April of 2018, and and is equipped with two Gen, Gen X1 Bravo engines. Of course, they are uh, operate, operated or made by uh, General Electric. Uh, this aircraft was ferried between uh, Charleston International Airport and Jeddah in South Saudi Arabia between. April 16th and 17th of 2018 on its delivery flight. So that is basically the information regarding this, this aircraft itself. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out the box. So here we have in the top 
at the top of the box, uh, ranging from the to uh, top left right across the top of the box, we have the Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner trademark titles. In the middle of the box, we have the 2D rendering of the aircraft, one, one of the, the my favourite liveries of on the Dreamliner to be in, in my opinion. Um, in the background, I, I believe we have the coat of arms of uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, machetes I believe they are, and the palm tree. Um, bottom left corner, we've got the Saudi, Saudi um, uh, titles there in English, and I believe that's Arabic. And of course, the registration Hotel Zulu Dish Alpha Romeo 2 3. This, airline, this aircraft is produced under license from Boeing and the Boeing 787, uh, Boeing, uh, 787 Dreamliner. Um, and it is, as you can see, it is a fish, officially licensed product. Here on the bottom left, or bottom right, we have the uh, NG Models logo and this aircraft is a 1 to 4 scale die cast metal. On the bottom of the bottom panel, the gold bottom panel, we have the the uh, Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner titles on the top left. Uh, bottom left, we have the NG Models logo. Uh, center right, we have the 2D rendering of the aircraft. And below that, we have the registration. Uh, looking at the at the right panel, we have um, the uh, Dreamliner title, a 787-9 Dreamliner uh, writing there. The Saudi um, logo. The engine models logo there at the, at the bottom left and the bottom right we have wonderful discount die cast models and die cast metal in this nice uh, gold to navy um, gradient on the top panel it's the same as the bottom panel except this one is navy and this side is the same as the other side except the gradient goes from blue to gold and imposed from gold to blue and on the back uh, of the box, uh, top left we have the NG Models logo. Uh, bottom left we have the so the social handles for NG Models, their Facebook page, uh, Instagram account, and of course their website. If you're not if you're not a f uh, supporter for uh, th uh, those accounts in terms of their Facebook page and their Instagram, go ahead and, and check them out. And here we have the barcode, this item number uh, five five zero five nine. The warning information uh, for this for this product, of course, is uh, not suitable for children under 14 years old, as it contains small parts. Um, in the middle, we have the 2D rendering of the aircraft with the um, the logo, the emblem of Saudi Arabian Airlines. Um, meant, I believe that's meant to be in the back, but of course, as you can see, it is overlaying the aircraft, which is pretty interesting. And yeah, that basically is the box. Uh, pretty standard uh, design for NG models. That they are uh, well well known for their their box are, I must say, NG models along with Phoenix and uh, the likes of JC Wings as well. Uh, they have some pretty pretty nice um, box designs for their models. Um, so if, if if you like this video so far, again, uh, click, click that uh, the like the like button below. Uh, also, let me know in the comments section below what you think about Saudi Air Saudi Arabia and the airlines. Do you think I do you think they're worthy of trying in terms of a, an actual flight? Um, and also, do you have this model yourself? If you don't, you are missing out. You need to get this model. Um, also, if you if you uh, want to check out the last review. Last review I did, which was of the British Airways uh, A350-1000. You can see it in the background at the moment, um, just here. Um, if, you, if you haven't uh, checked it out just, uh, yet, uh, top right corner, there should be a card just there. Also, at, at the end of the video, there should be a cut. A, the video should be in the, in the, on, the, on the left hand side of the screen. But uh, other than that, this is, that, that is the end of the review of the box. So let's go ahead and check out the model. And here we have the absolutely stunning Saudi Airlines uh, 787-9 by NG Models. As you can see, it, it is an absolute perler. Uh, this is one, actually one of my favourite models in my collection. Um, I got, I sold the, um, I believe it was the Phoenix version, and uh, to get this model. And I must say, it, I made a very good decision 
I like how the um, the emblem on the tail fin um, it is in the color that it is, um, so it stands out a lot more. And I like the um, the tannish color on the the top half of the fuselage. So now I'm, what what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, give this model an in depth review, uh, left to right, nose to tail, and showing you the different aspects of this model. So let's go ahead and start the review. So zooming into the front of the aircraft, first of all, um, here we have the uh, the nose cone of the aircraft situated just here, with the window wipers just uh, above it, just here. Here we have the um, the cockpit windows, and uh, below that we have the a uh, bit of some titles that says God bless you, I believe, and of course uh, above that is um, uh, the writing in, um, in Arabic. Below here we have the number 23, which is the last two digits of the um, registration, which of course again is um, Hotel Zulu Dash Alpha Romeo 23, and of course um, that they would be on the um the nose gear but of course as you can see there is no um writing on the nose gear itself um and of course it, and on that note here is the, the nose gear uh, the nose gear door and here below that is the actual nose gear itself here in between the cockpit windows and the l1 door we have the star the um the sky team logo which is the, uh, the the emblem that shows that Saudi Airlines is a member of this Sky Team Alliance. All members, at, um, including the likes of uh, Aeromexico, uh, Korean Air, Middle Eastern Airlines, um, uh, Delta, KLM, Air France, etc., uh, all, all have the um, the same emblem in the same location on all of their aircraft. Uh, some some air aircraft in the in the sky team alliance members um also have the sky team uh alliance livery and which i do have a few models models of um if you want to uh want me to check, uh, re review the china airlines a330 300 or the aeroflot 777 300er in a re in a future review let me know in the comment section below and i shall do that for you so continuing on with the review, uh, here we have the L1 door, uh, the one of the two main passenger doors, of course, L1 and L2 doors are the main two doors for boarding. Uh, here, just here, you may be at the end of the pointer, we, we may be able to see the, a smaller um, a Sky Team logo that is, of course, there for when uh, people passengers walk past the the part of the door because of course the air bridge would be up to this part of the door um so that uh this one won't be able to be won't be able to be seen but this one will be able to be seen up close here we have this the flag of saudi arabia and uh what i believe 14 um the 14 or 15 uh windows of the the cable windows for the uh, Dash Nine Dreamliner, uh, that is that is one way that I can identify which uh, variant of of seven eight seven this is. Of course, um, I believe the Dash Eight has seven windows in between the L one and L two doors, and I believe the Dash Ten has I believe nineteen. Um, I may be may I may be incorrect, but um, that that's a good indication. Apart from the sheer length of the dash ten and, and dash, uh, the, the difference in the, in the length of the dash eight and the dash nine, and of course the dash ten, it should be um, relatively easy to to uh, to identify what variant is which. Uh, moving on down the aircraft, just go into it and uh, show you that the gears do in fact roll. Um, looking at this part of the aircraft, the midsection of the aircraft, here we have the L2 door. Uh, going from here to here is the Saudi um, titles in English, and of course from here to here is the uh, Saudi uh, titles in uh, Arabic. And I believe 
uh, the uh, Arabic writing is read from right to left. Here we have the antenna on top of the aircraft. Uh, one thing I want I need to point out with NG models is that they they um one huge I not not really huge but one notice, noticeable flaw that I have with with NG models in in the in recent times is that on their wide bodies I don't know about their narrow bodies um but on their wide bodies they don't include anti collision beacons on top of their aircraft which is um, quite an, a notice, noticeable thing because no one's looking at the bottom of the aircraft when they're when they're uh, looking at the, at the model on a, at an airport. Um, but of course, there isn't there is a beacon on on the bottom of the aircraft, uh, which I will show you in, in a moment. But of course, having no beacon on top of the of the model when the beacon is one of the most important pieces of an aircraft is uh pretty um wouldn't say bad but it is it is something they need to work on um but anyway moving on to within in this um in this review looking at the wing here uh just here we have the uh landing the wing light the landing light here we have uh this side uh gen x1 bravo engine with the coat of arms logo on it which you can just see there um and on going down the wing the beautifully uh shaped wing of the dreamliner here we have the uh red navigation light and of course just here is the the right wind tip of the of the 787-9 or, or 787 dreamliner because uh all all variants dash 8 dash 9 and dash 10 have the same uh, wing design and they all all have the, the same wing the wingspan uh, moving on with the review uh, down this part of the aircraft, I may be able to ju just uh, see just here the landing gear of the air of this uh, seven eight seven dash nine Dreamliner. I will show you in a moment um, uh, the gears in a moment when when we look at the belly of the aircraft. Uh, here we have the L three door. Uh, here is the L four door. The uh, second antenna on top of the aircraft, and the third one uh, just behind it. Here we have the registration Hotel Zulu dash Alpha Romeo two three, and here we have the the Dreamliner logo. Uh, below the the I, uh, ranging from the I and the R of um of of liner Dreamliner, uh, we have I believe this is a, a little a small baggage compartment on the Dreamliner. Um, I have not noticed in uh, in future in in past live streams uh, where um, some seven eight sevens are being boarded f uh, in terms of or loaded loaded on cargo from uh, this this uh, this door here. Of course, there's some some uh, cargo doors on the on the other side of the aircraft, which you'll see in a moment. Um, going down with to the tail fin, just going to. Uh, I can't zoom in, so that's alright. Uh, looking at the tail fin now, uh, here we have the beautifully shaped uh, 787 dash, 787 uh, tail fin. Um, I, I'm, I like the way that it is uh, sleekly um, shaped. Here we have the leading edge of the tail fin. Here we have the navy blue, navy blue uh, background. And here, then we have the gold, the gold emblem of uh, Saudi Arabia, the palm. The crescent moon, I believe, and the and the two machetes. I'm not particularly sure what they symbolise. So, if anyone um, has uh, any information regarding uh, the logo of Saudi Arabia, uh, Saudi Arabian Airlines, do let me know in the comment section below. I'll, I'll be I'll be happy to um, happy to find out some some information regarding those. Um, here we have the APU of the aircraft. And here we have the horizontal stabilizers. Of course, the tail fin could be also known as the vertical stabilizer. Here we have the leading edge of the of the of the um the horizontal horizontal stabilizer. Um, and these small grey dots you can just see here are tail lights or logo lights. They light up the tail fin during night operations, so it's easier for the AC, ATC or other pilots to to identify what what uh, airlines. 
I guess aircraft are in the in the in their in their airspace or uh, in their proximity um, on the ground. Um, and yeah, that's basically this uh, side of the model. Um, so let's go ahead and quickly have a look at the other side of the model before showing you the belly of the aircraft. The only real differences on this side of the model is that, the, like I said before, there is a, there's a cargo compartment situated just here. There's a cargo compartment um, situated just here. Um, everything else is, is basically flipped. Um, and on the end of the wing here, we have the green navigation light. So uh, that's basically the uh, the um, this side of the aircraft. Other than that, it's, it's basically identical to the other side. Uh, so now let's go ahead and briefly look at the bottom of the aircraft. Um, so here we have the if it can focus. There we have the um, the the doors for the nose gear. And there we have the nose gear itself, as you can see it rolls. Here we have the un underside of the belly. Here is the, at the end of my thumb here, here is the cargo compartment. Here we have the anti-collision beacon that I mentioned before, um, and the stand hole and the two uh, landing gear, as you can see they roll, which I'll show you in a moment, uh, clearer. Here we have this size engine. Here's the wing, nicely detailed wing. Here we have the, uh, this size engine and the wing with the registration on it. Here we have the stand hole with the gear doors. And I believe this is where the rat is located for when it's for when it is an in tech for flight tests. I believe the uh um not sure what rat means, but I do know the T stands for turbine. So if anyone want uh, can let me know what 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 the word rat means, uh let me know. Um and here we have the the bottom antenna, as you can see just there, and the uh, car compartment just here, Dreamliner titles, and moving down the end of the tail fin, here we have the APU uh, compartment doors. So that is basically the uh, the end of the review. So uh, thank you very much for coming along and joining me for the this uh, review of the Saudi Airlines. 787-9 uh, Dreamliner by EG Models. Uh, if, if you haven't got any uh, Saudi, Saudi Airlines um, aircraft, I do highly re recommend getting this model. This is uh, absolutely um, detailed uh, to the point. Uh, some, major, some major flaws, I wouldn't say a major flaws, but uh, knowing that the anti-collision anti beacon is a major part of an aircraft, I would... Um, label it as a major, a major defect um something that I, I feel i need to get in contact with um mg and tell them about um because uh yeah um it would a actually add a, lo a lot more realism to the aircraft o other than that the aircraft is absolutely flawless um uh, ng have a great uh, 787 mold um uh, one of my favorite brands in terms of the 787 dash uh, or 787 family in general i do hope in the future that they release um or release the mold for the dash 8 dreamliner that there are some airlines that i am uh really really wanting f it, they operate the dash the dash 8 um but yeah if you if you're interested in following me or supporting me on my instagram page for my airport Asja International Airport. The uh, this first link in the description box, description uh, below, is where you need to go. What I do on there, live streams. I showcase images of my uh, airport movements, and I uh, for the live streams, I ho I host uh, unboxings of new models. I uh, have announcements for the um, the uh, releases released by the likes of Gemini Jets, Engine Models, JZ Wings, etc. So if you want to come along and support me on Instagram, first link in the description bo description box below. Second link in below that um, is the Instagram account in which I showcase my livery designs. 
um, which I make on Adobe Photoshop. Um, if you want, want to support me on there too, I would appreciate you click, clicking the uh, checking out the link, second link below, uh, second link in the description below. And if you want to come along and, and support, um, join a Discord server in which I am in, along with some uh, other and uh, um, interactive and and great uh, great and uh, maybe an enthusiast, come along and join the Global Aviation Alliance, the GAA. Let me know in the comment section below if you want to, want to come along and join, and then I will pass you on to the um, one of the four admins that can start your application process. Uh, so without further ado, thank you very much for coming along to uh, join, joining me for this this review. Um, again, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Um, comment comment below what you think about the re the, the review. Let me know what what models you want me to want me to do a review of in the future. I do have some some models planned, so um, some videos planned uh, in the in the near future. So uh, do do uh, uh, subscribe in the bell icon below it share this video to your friends let's get some support going for the uh, for the channel and yeah uh, on the the left hand side of the screen is my most recent video um on the right hand side of the screen is the full list full, full playlist of the model model reviews that i've done in the middle is where you subscribe but until next time fly safe stay safe and i'll see you in the next one